Miss with Snipe Hunter. <laughs> Three ones and a six. That's not going to get you anywhere. <laughs> That's her whole hand gone right there. Starting off with the cost. pot of uh, prosperity, going for one, six. Three, four, five, and six. That's only five. There we go. Yep. Well, this immediately is going to reveal the matchup. If they didn't see it previously. And we see an Ellis, a bit of Lance. Goes in match. Ellis. Ooh. Book of Moon. And Sophia. So there is no Martha in there, that would, which would have been very, very crucial. Uh, Pack has uh, picked up to read the Sophia and the Ellis. The Gozen match can be a very scary ad here. If you get the Gozen match right away, you start to turn Gozen. off, and we get the Gozen match. It goes in match <laughs> right away. I wouldn't be shocked if Steven already has either Martha or the yeah or this. So this is a new thing that uh, we first started seeing. In this deck, well, the first time it showed up in a top Nexus sister deck mm -hmm. uh, was when Steven used it in the event he just won. Not that it hasn't been around um, since Cyberstorm Axis came out. Mm -hmm. So that Four is Aritama. Added, uh, Aritama gets to add a spirit goes monster goes on normal summon. And that's going to feature it right into the the new one from Cyberstorm Axis. Sakitama. Oh, Ash Blossom. It gets ashed. That's a That's good a, ash. And this, a, a but really, really good the, one. The neat thing with the spirit, though, is because it bounces back to your hand. You can do it again next turn. Yep. So the ash doesn't actually eliminate the threat. It only delays it. Uh, draw, send my main. You're good. All right, we're going to see how the Pirelli side is going to open up now. He has a Perlili in hand. Just having Thank access you. to these Thank monsters are already pretty good because now you can already use some of the quickly spells and eventually lead into... Uh, the Eper, Eper Pirelli's. Yep. Now, the problem is that goes in match. All of these are different. And we can activate the Pirelli and excavate three cards, and we get to add one. I believe that was a pretty memory. Is it the pretty memory or is it my friend? I think it was my friend. It looked like a collector. Right? Effect rank up. <laughs> oh. Goes in match. Okay, I can legally rank up. Sure. He has no legal ranking. Sorry, no legal rank up available because uh, Pearly is light. And I believe most of those monsters in the extract aren't light. Uh, the twos are not. Fact. It's only Eddie X Pearly that is. Mm -hmm. So Pack is going for I a have... sleepy memory here. Uh, pitching Dark Ruler no more. Special summon a second light Pearly. And that is not once per turn. It is not. We're going to see another excavation. Dark Ruler, Pot of Prosperity, and another Dark Ruler. <laughs> so That's can, a miss. Yeah, we can see here that Pack is really gunning to go second here, main decking things like Dark Ruler no more. So this could have been to his advantage. Res? Now, does he have a light ranked one? I think Slacker Magician is... Um, yeah, Slacker Magician is the ranked one, right? Yeah. Is Slacker a light monster? I yeah, think Slacker is a light, but Downer is a dark. Okay. But it could just be both dark. This is a tough position. That goes in matches, putting on a lot of work, suppressing the board from getting out of control. We are seeing a Slacker magician. Yeah, so Slacker is light. Well, this opens up a, a, a whole new line where if you can land the attack. For 200? Yep. He lands the attack. And then that can turn into Zeus, which two. is also light. That's coming. He's going for the effect right away. There's no negation. Steve. Oh, there is a negation. There is an infinite impermanence turning off the effect of, okay. of Divine's uh, Arsenal A, Zeus, Sky Thunder. All right, so Zeus is left with one material here. That's unfortunate. Now, Steven's got to be careful that he doesn't destroy anything. We'll see if Pack sets something to maybe try to bait him into destroying something and allowing Zeus to get another material on that way. Yeah, that's also possible. I think it's going to be pretty difficult, considering most Exorcist three cards, they mainly focus on banishing cards, and therefore, I don't know if that, that Zeus is going to be able to gain the additional material. So Pack sets a card in the Gozen zone. He's trying to represent infinite impermanence here. Yeah, that's we'll see if that's actually what it is. <laughs> Oh, so, right. So packs. Yeah, that's a, uh, not that pack, not pack plural, but packs is in peace. 
and now he's got the Martha. Now, um, Exorcister nope. being all light so, monsters, this is not going to uh, get in the way with the Gozen. All right, Martha's going to summon successfully, and remember, he's still got the Aratama in hand before as it returned. Goes straight into Enixie's monster. Yes. It's going to Michaelis. What? Summon? Yeah. Uh, effect of search or extra spell or trap. Yep. The turn it summoned is a quick effect to vanish. The oh, turn it summoned, it had a quick effect to vanish. Mm -hmm. These are kind of interesting in that they have a special ability the turn that they are Xyz summoned. And in some cases, it's something that just happens immediately, like you know, players can't special summon from the graveyard this turn. Yep. And sometimes it's an actual like effect effect that you activate. I'll chain Michaelis to banish the Zeus. Yep. And it is, in fact, the Impern. And Michaelis chains that quick effect that it has for this turn only to yep. banish the Zeus. Yep. Permanence does go ahead and negate the search. And then Eratama no. comes down uh, and adds Sakitama. And the Gozen shut off. The and the, yeah, the Gozen's also currently shut off because of the infinite impermanence. It That's is. So activating Sakitama, revealing it from the hand to get a normal summon of a spirit monster. That's just a free summon. It is. It's a very, very good card. Y'all can see. Yeah, <laughs> Aspidal comes out and he's actually just not going to survive this turn. No. And he wisely concedes. Mm, I can't remember who's actually going first here. I believe Pac is going first now. Is that what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so Pack is choosing to go first here. Starting really? with the uh, Paralily. Fact, yep. Hits one immediately. It's has two. Oh, voice. as a sleepy. I believe that is a sleepy memory. Yeah, it is sleepy memory. Yep. Sleepy Where's and... Uh, I think that's my friend. My friend Pearly Fact. is... Like, this is the one you really want. It's going to get you a consistent I source of for, cards. Yep, that's correct. And you know, if it's destroyed, you're going to get a bunch of cards back as well. So that's going to cost him 500 life points. He gets to reveal three. And they can be the same three, if you like. And he gets to add one. But this also adds another line of defense for the deck, where if your uh, Xyz monster is removed by your opponent's card, you yep. get to add three of the quick play spells from the graveyard back into your hand. So whatever that's attached. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Shocking which one is <laughs> added. It's quote unquote random, but if you pick three, is it really? Three of the same. It's a hundred percent chance. Yeah, a hundred percent indeed. Yep. Oh, and it starts with the field spell. Oh, now nice. that's that's like another yeah. layer of defense there. Now, so any special summoned out uh, pearly monster this turn cannot be targeted. Thinking. And the end phase, you also get to attach a material onto an existing exceeds pearly. I have no response. So we're going for sleepy memory next. Pitching, delicious. Delicious. The good one. Yep. And that's going to be useful since once Pearl Lily comes out, you can target the memory in the graveyard. Oh, for sure. That can lead into a, a like into the plump play, plump. which is a lot harder right now with only one delicious available. And part of why that is is what you see like, right here with my friend Pearly, because you can't just choose three delicious memories anymore. You can only choose one, so one in three chance of actually getting it. And we summon another Pearly here, so go ahead and get the trap, the Pearl Leap. That Leap is a very scary card. It could suddenly spell disaster if there's enough material on your monster, and then you just Hello. summon out into X Pearly Noir. Um. Yep. So the effect. Oh, you're going to use the delicious memory. So Plump is being summoned onto the field. Deciding which zone to put that in. Puts it in the center zone. Using the effect to attach. You can attach up to two. Return. Uh, end phase effect target. Yep. Yep. End phase field spell is going to target the Plump, and we're going to attach another memory under it. Oh, this could lead to a massive card draw. So it's going to be, right now we're looking at two cards for each of the two memories on it right now. And then yep. the, uh, the trap it. card draw for trap. can shift Nothing some things over. Phase. Stand by, effect draw. Sure. So draw one, effect draw. Sure. So each copy will offer you oh, an additional draw. 
I don't think we're leaving the standby phase just yet. Yeah. Now, if he can get those over onto another Ixies monster, and here with her relief. Oh, so. we are lancing. Oh. That turns the that makes it so that the plump was unaffected sure. by the uh, pearly pearly leap. Yep. So he can't make it up into noir and get all those extra draws off that. But essentially, he did get a pot of greed for free here. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's four, four materials as well. He's drawn the Martha this time around. Okay, we get the LS summon. I think we've got Nathan's a good game brewing here. He's also got Aratama. There's going to be some XC summoning happening. Sorry, what's the defensive pump? 33. 3,300 defense. Bigger than even Magnifico. Yes, and that's thanks to the delicious memory being attached. Mm -hmm. Gets 300 for every material. Starts at, I think, 21 plus 12. All right, so he's taking a very close look here at my friend Pearly, seeing what exactly will trigger that to refill Pac's hand, trying not to do that. I mean, there's two cards that are going to have an impact. It's both the field spell and the my friend. Uh, effect to search for a uh, Exorcist Spell or Trap. So we're going to start off with the Michaelis. Michaelis adding a Exorcist or Spell or Trap. He does have an additional summon here, too, with the, uh, Sorry, do the Saki Tama still in hand. X, Y, Z's. What'd you add? Uh, can I read it? And yeah. also, can I read the yellow card you added? Yes. Uh, the, it's like the, yeah, the Saki Tama. Yep. So he's yeah, going yeah. to check out, so we're going to be adding the Returnia, and there's also the Saki Tama. Saki Tama being the free summon, Returnia. If you exceed summon... Yeah, thank you. Yep. Well, there's two Ours different the kinds of effects it's on that card. Yep, you get to banish a, a uh, card on the field, but also, depending if you have exceed summon that turn, uh, you'll get different effects. If you ba if you exceed summon that turn, you'll get, be able to banish an additional uh, card and doesn't even target. The... Or you get to perform an exceed summon with the monsters you have available. My friend? I'm going to go ahead and use the Kale's Banish on my friend Pearly. Thinking. My friend is probably a card that you want to clear. If you remove that plump off the field, then Pack is going to be able to add three quick play spells back to the hand. That's a lot. That yep. almost feels like their version of Runic Fountain. Yeah, it, it is in a lot of ways. And there just happen to be three beneath that plump. Extra normal summon? Yep. Gets the extra normal summon. Sakitama. Now, each of the Michaelis effects... Destroy that battle, What's up? This doesn't trigger if destroyed by battle. It's only card effect. It leaves the field because of opponent's power, so it triggers by battle. Oh, so with both of them... Well, now that one of the uh, spells are gone, it's only just the field spell that uh, will help Pack regain some resources and give him a follow-up, which is if the monster is removed, I believe he gets to summon out a uh, pearly from the deck. If a pearly okay, Xyz monster you control leaves the field because of um, opponent's card, special summon two. one level one pearly monster from your deck or graveyard. So it will oh, give and both the graveyard. of these 800, right? Correct. And even new XYZ summon will gain attack. Yes. Okay. But that's a turn all XYZ's okay. on my field um, gain 800. Yep. Thank you. So yep. Exorcist of Jabri is an interesting one. Well. Keep in mind. It's a quick effect. Oh. Effect they this turn. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. That's it. That's it's going to pump everything um, up. I will activate the effective green to uh, negate plump's effect. I mean, Steven is Thank showing you. his mastery sure. with the deck right now, using not just the uh, exorcist that we commonly see, but a lot of the other ones as well, and trying to just max out <sighs> on Thank every you. part of their effect. Yeah, Jabreen's a good card. Sometimes it's just these uh, other card effects yeah. that you just don't know, and you just get caught off guard. Like, oh, they do what? <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to go into Ma Ma Exorcist's Magnifica. All right, so all okay. these monsters you control will gain 800 attack. So Magnifica is huge. Yeah. And double so attack. attack him early for uh, 35? Ooh, that's for that's, 30, that's a lot. Well, it's 36 now. Oh, yeah, yeah, 35 damage. 3,500 damage here. Ooh. So there's your green. You can uh, see the way that sure. last word is assumed for the rest of this turn, uh, all of these monsters you control will gain 800. So it's current and future. Uh, yes. That's correct. 8,000, 4,000. Yes. Ooh. Um... Okay. Um, I will attempt to use Magnificent Effect, detaching Jabrina's cost to ban your card, non-targeting. Oh no, this could take out the field spell. Pax is taking a look at his face down there. 
thinking about chaining it, but if pack activates an effect, goes infinite and permanence, now Steven can swap the Magnifica back out yeah. to one of the things beneath it, which I believe is still the Michaelis. Yes. And then, the, and then it will resolve I the will... Uh, Magnifica effect, and the Banish is still going to go through. Chain Magnifica to tag out. Sure. It's Magnifica tags out, um, swaps places. So it resolves, I will banish these With Michaelis. Yep. yep. We're taking out the, uh, the follow-up. Um, is that 21? Yep. Tag it? Yep. Yep. So the uh, abilities from the field, yep. from uh, yep. Delicious Memory, our effects added onto the plump. So because plump was negated, it lost that extra 1,200 mm. defense, Plus. and Michaelis mm. is able to defeat it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, well, Pack is down to his last card in his Good. hand, yep. and we're going to see a Prosperity activated now. We see Imperm goes evenly through. match. Oh no, it's evenly matched. Evenly matched. Evenly matched. Also, the top cut map for this weekend. Oh yeah, looks nice. very nice. I think it's going to be a very timeless one. This is gonna, this is gonna be just a brutal match for Pack. I think he got card for card counter, I taking away every single follow up he he would have had. Thrust. Oh, here comes thrust. He can activate thrust right away because we did get an activation from the drawing um, effect. Yes. Okay. Oh, the drawing effect was the effect of a monster. Just like the effect from uh, Delicious Memory that was negated earlier. Essentially, that pot of prosperity just let uh, yep. Steven grab things. any card um, in his deck almost. So is that uh, it's Vapis? Oh, that's going to. He must already have Returnia then. Have to go in phase. Yeah, thinking out in phase. Sure. Thinking out in phase. Uh, uh, using the Pearl Leap. Sure. Using the Traps effect. Yep. yep. Okay. Good. Plump goes back. Back monsters. Two more monsters go back. Now let's see what Pack's got. If we can get that draw. This is a very, very tough position. Being, you need to be able to answer yep. the three back row and the Michaelis. Well, the Michaelis on field right now doesn't really do anything because it's not the turn special summon. Correct. Uh, draw phase, activate. Two Goes special. for pretty um, memory. I have no okay. Five to your nine. Okay. Let's go for the summon, the summon into uh, Perlili, Perlili effect. Get to add no response. I believe he, there was no, no response there. And then he's going to add a non-quick play spell to his end. Now, both players gain 1,000 life points there. Pack definitely needs a little, those extra life points a little more than Steven. Not quite out of the danger zone yet, as Magnifica on their own sure. is 56. And it's also kind of dangerous to activate uh, Pearl Lily, with this, uh, when the, especially when there's a Vadis in the back. Yeah. That's going to give two more uh, Xyz monster for Steven, because he's going to be removing cards out of the graveyard. He's thinking about uh, it. I can't imagine why you wouldn't shotgun it here. What's Pack going to have that... The clear effect target. He's going to activate it, and then we're going to chain Vadis. That, uh, now, is there an Ash Blossom for that Vadis? No response. Oh, no, no response. response. All right, so what are we trying to do here if in a pack? But are we trying to get to Zeus? We need to find some way to clear out the two new monsters. And the two new monsters can have a response. They are special summons out this turn, and that also changes up. Um, These are the two that are in sub. And then the material gets attached, therefore the two new monsters, they can trigger. And that also changes Returnia's effect to get an additional banish as well. Sophia. This, this is yep. looking very, very yep. dicey. It counts as a Xyz summon. So two sisters spring out, and then they immediately transform for new Michaelis, and looks like Jabreen. Gonna go um, ahead and get that effect failure type effect. Banish, perfect, banish, perfect. Uh, anything else on us? You're gonna continue. That's a lot of monsters on one side. Now, Beauty has been summoned onto the field. If uh, you can activate Beauty, you can negate uh, the effect of a monster. So can I look at Returnia? Because uh, it's it was it was searched last turn. I'm okay to search it, right? Just do want to double check. He's looking. 
Oh, no, it, it was not public this turn. I cannot? Okay, thank you. Okay. No, no, don't tell me, don't tell me, you can't tell me. Yeah. You, can, you can't tell me, you can't tell me. Oh, you can, uh, yeah, so the public knowledge rules are changed. Uh, basically, you can't just sit there searching things. No, no, you can't. You can only search things okay. that you've actually seen this turn. Okay. Yeah, so if you're asking for card um, info, public knowledge does not mean every single card in the Yu-Gi-Oh's existence. That's not it anymore. Yeah, that was a number of players use that sort of thing to just do constant chain searches. To search. So chains to search. Okay. And okay. now he can chain, chain to the to pack with the callus um, to take chain out to negate Yudi. this. Chain to negate. Yes. And then chains Jabreen to negate. to negate that. That's a great chain. I mean, starting off with the Dark Results. Ruler, there was a little bit of a gateway to prevent the, like, the monsters from activating. But, you know, breaching that past that, we're using a Pax, creating this long chain link under a Dark Ruler, which isn't very common. What'd you add? Martha. Martha? Okay. So added Martha, and now Dark Ruler resolves. Steven can't take damage anymore, and the effects of all the monsters are negated. Back goes with, ooh, okay. my friend Pearly. That's really Pay. good. Yep. And, and pain eight for returning uh, us. Let's attempt to banish it. Yep, you got He's going to banish it. Oh, Steven it. takes it. My from, goodness. From one remote YCS champion to another.